everybody. Everybody stop what you're doing. That's how mom does it. Okay, as you can see from the video I'm showing you right now that our sink is kind of having a problem. It, our disposal is leaking from the bottom and there is a way to fix it. If your time is worth more than about a hundred <laughs> and you know, 20 bucks, then it's not worth doing, but my time's not worth that. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it. <laughs> It might be because I might. <laughs> you might need to go and help our friends move today. We'll so. see how it goes. But I'm going to show you how to fix a leak of disposal that leaks from the bottom. Because I already so come can. along with me. Yeah. We're going to go to uh, Lowe's, get some materials, stuff like that, and we'll we'll show you. So come along. Okay, so there's a couple steps we need to do. We need to make sure we unplug it, and we need to detach it from the little pee drain thing, and then we need to twist it off. A little process here to take it apart. One little tip is don't do this when the dishwasher's going. <laughs> Got that all unhooked. Okay, so then here, they give you these little handy things and you can unscrew it. So that's how you remove a disposal. So now we'll go out in the garage and take it apart. So now what we're gonna loosen are these little bolts that are around it and that will allow us to take off the top. Kind of long bolts there, you go all the way down. My wife won't come help me film, so I'm doing it this way. Uh, so now I'm gonna try to take off the top of it and we'll see the insides. Oh, nasty. This is the insides there. Not too bad, I guess. <laughs> then what we have here are the little blades that kind of spin around, chuck everything up. Some nasties. Okay, so these are the little blades that whip around real fast and bust everything up. And what happens is then there's a gap and it all drains down here. Now usually what causes the leak is some sort of hole that develops down here. But honestly, this is a pretty good shape. I'm not seeing any, let's look in here. I don't see any rust hole. Sometimes you can get, if you clean it, you see like a hole that's developed and I don't see, oh wait, right there. I'm betting that is a little hole. Yeah, look at that. See that right there? Can you zoom in? That is a little hole that allows the water to drain in and go all the way down to the bottom. Let's see if there's anything more. I'll clean it up a little bit, but I am betting that that is our culprit right there. So I'll show you how we fix it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take a little wire brush and wanna clean the area really well. The uh, weld glue will go ahead and stick well. So let's clean it up and prep it for putting the epoxy on. Okay, so I've used the wire brush, and at first I was just doing the one area, but I decided to go all the way around it. Let me show you, I'm glad I did because guess what I found? I found two other potential little holes and those would have become a problem not too far in the future. Let's fix those as well.
Okay, so I took the excess that's left over and I just went all the way around the whole thing. I figure, why not? Anything that might protect, there might be other little spots about to break through. So just a little extra precautionary. You don't have to do that, but I had extra, why waste it? So I went all the way around. The key areas I covered a lot more, but we're gonna let that uh, cure and come back. We're gonna go get some pizza now. All right, so the liquid weld has cured and I set it in the sun, even put a heater by it. Anyways, so then I took the top cowling and put back over. I'll show you here. So this is top cowling. I cleaned it out inside and everything. I put it back on, take the bolts, four bolts, drop them on down, screw them in, and then we'll install it. Okay, Jason has patiently waited for that to seal and cure. So now he's about to attach the disposal back on. I'm not sure what he thinks about his labor costs, but I think this was worth $109. 114, thank you. It was 109 plus tax, thank you. No, the one I was looking at was more. Uh, yeah, like, you want to attach the hose. Ew, gross. No, 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 no. Like, here, here, dump it out into that bucket right there. That's kind of gross. Oh. All right, now you're attaching that. We cleaned out the hose, but it was too gross yeah, to yeah. show. Put that hose back on, and then should be good to go, right? Yep. Okay, he's plugging it in. Okay, here's the test. See no drips. Nope. Okay. So that is how you fix your disposal if it's leaking from the bottom. If it's leaking from another spot, gotta we, do something different. We have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Go find a YouTube video on find it. Another channel. <laughs> Anyways. But uh, well you check your hoses. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that helped you out. Hopefully it saves you some money. And I appreciate you watching. Watch the other videos. We do a lot of fun stuff on this channel. And subscribe, hit the little bell, and come back for more. Yeah. Thanks guys. How much was the glue, by the way? For that stuff you got. Seven bucks. So for seven dollars, we fixed it up and saved ourselves the same model. And I think it's about 114 plus tax. And the dishwasher is running. Dishwasher and there's running. No, no leakage. One thing, you, if, since you're in there doing all this stuff, um, you might want to go through and clean out these pipes. We found a lot of gunk in there. Just simple maintenance. I mean, that way you don't have to come back. All right. Subscribe, hit the bell, like it, comment below if they found this helpful or have any questions. Maybe I'll answer them, maybe I can. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> thank you, have a good one. Ow. All right.